Oh yeah, there it is. The Phantom 3 Professional Drone from DJI. If you wanna win this drone, all you have to do is follow the link in the description. It's super, super simple. You just have to subscribe to the channel, that's it, and then you can be flying the friendly skies. But you better get on it because the drawing ends on Monday at midnight. So, just like that, let's bounce. I've received some intel, some very, very secret intel, that there may or may not be six, count it six, of the new Ford GTs at the Utah Motorsports Campus. We'll see, we'll see. But here we are. Thank you so much. Okay, Ford GTs, where in the world are you? There was some event going on here yesterday. I was down in Arizona for the Pagani Reduno, but somewhere there, there could be six Ford GTs. It was worth the drive out here. Come on, baby. This could be a good sign. Tucked here in the back, we got a bunch of Raptors. We have a bunch of Focus RSs, but where are the GTs? Come on, I did not want to drive all the way out here. That is a nice lineup of Focus RS's. Those things are legit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nope. Just a bunch of Raptors. That would be so much fun. Do you imagine desert running in all those Raptors? Wow. All right, where are the GTs? I just spot. I just spot. I just spotted two Ford GTs. They're way down there. Um, hmm. You guys can't see them, but, well maybe you can. There's two Ford GTs, a silver one and a blue one. Now I have absolutely no idea if I'm allowed over there, but uh, we're gonna get... It's a little windy out. Let's give this a shot. This is gonna be insane. Come on, let's go. See, they're right, they're right there. You see them? They're right there. Oh, look at that, they're just sitting here. No one's around. There is this, this chain link fence of sorts though. That thing is so sick. Oh, I gotta get around this fence somehow. Oh, oh look at this baby. Look at that. This car is so, so good looking in person. That's insane. I have two brand new Ford GTs right here oh man i'm not i'm not sure which one i would take this is amazing i absolutely love love the design of this car i'm just kind of waiting like when are the first customer ford gts finally going to be delivered there's some type of press event going on right now that's why these gts are here there's supposedly a couple more running around the track so hopefully we can find them but i just love the design of this car it's such a a revolutionary design you know these massive I don't even know what you call these like vent style things here on the back end. I love how the rear wing, how it can raise and lower. These ones are sitting in sort of your standard road mode. It does have a race mode, just like the uh, McLaren P1 where it actually drops down. And the white one right now, you'll see, is sitting very, very low. So it's about to come around. Let's go get a clip of it. Of course it has the EcoBoost, the twin turbo V6. But here it comes. Any of the doubters that are knocking the V6, I think it's safe to say that car sounds mental. I love the paddles here on the Ford GT there in red. But here on the steering wheel, you can see the driver has all the controls at his fingertips. Here you have the different driving modes, of course. The blinker is right there. You got cruise control and whatnot. 
got your windshield wipers. Look at that windshield wiper knob. That's pretty trippy looking. Of course, the carbon fiber Alcantara, as most of these supercars have nowadays. Then this GT has the carbon fiber wheels right there. This one has the forged aluminum wheels. It seems like a lot of a lot of supercars nowadays are getting the carbon fiber wheels because they're so lightweight. Oh, that white one just started up. It's a very nice Lotus Elise right there next to a GT3. We got the Alpha 4C as well. Those are cool cars. But I believe there's some more Ford GTs tucked away in a garage somewhere in the area. We are gonna bounce from the Utah Motorsports campus. I could not find any more Ford GTs, but all in all, I am not complaining, that's for sure. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hello. What do we have here? A last Ford GT. GT there it is let's uh let's see if we we're gonna try to catch up to him that was a six spec black with red stripes is he gonna fill up with fuel maybe I don't know where he's going for GT number four this one is black I can't tell if the stripe is is orange or red, but it looks pretty amazing. I think this one is my favorite spec of the GTs that we've seen today. This one has the carbon fiber wheels. The interior's got some really nice orange or red inserts. I'm not entirely sure, but you got the calipers as well, the Brembo. Of course, carbon ceramics. There's the carbon fiber wheels, the titanium lug nuts. Really, really nice looking car. All right, <laughs> what, what a success this has been, seeing all of these new Ford GTs. I saw another garage over there that had a couple more. I don't know if I'm gonna get to see them or not, but well, definitely not complaining. What a day, what a day. Oh, we just found, we found another one. This one is yellow with black stripes. I'm gonna wave him to go forward. That thing is sick. Wow. That is a nice GT. Oh, there's a red one over there too. Hmm. This, this candy apple red one with the silver stripe. I think this one might be my favorite. Be sure to put it in the comments below which one is your favorite. I mean, this color, I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. It is absolutely sensational. Have the carbon fiber front splitter right there. This one has the carbon fiber wheels as well. But wow, this color is just in the direct sunlight. You simply cannot beat it. And then this yellow one with the black stripe as well. This one has a different wheel option. Well, it's the same wheel option, it's just finished in black compared to the blue one that had the silver. But wow, that's a, that's a crazy color as well. I have not seen a bad color on the new GT. I really love the back end. It's just so low, it's so wide and these massive, I don't know what you'd call these vents, where air can just flow through, you can see the radiator right in there. These four GTs, they have the twin turbocharged EcoBoost V6 that produces 650 horsepower, 550 pound-feet of torque. And I'm surprised with how well these things sound on the track going full throttle. What an unexpected surprise here in the, uh, in the good state of Utah. All right. You can kind of hear that one. See, I told you that EcoBoost, that thing sounds good. All right, let's, uh, let's leave unless we find another Ford GT, which huh, we might.
All right, awesome video today. Well, that sounds a little, well, I hope you guys thought the video was awesome. Be sure to uh, give it a like. You don't have to smash it, just, you know, even a tap of the like button will do. But I have a ton of cool content headed your guys' way. Here in the month of May, there's gonna be some insane, insane supercar happenings. More to come with that. When I was down in Southern Utah with Gordon, F-Spot, and Adam Bornstein, we talked about a second edition of the Euro trip. Some of you guys might remember last year, I spent six weeks in Europe with those guys, and I think we might try to do it again. We'll see. And then of course in July, I have the Platinum Run Rally, followed up by GT Con. So the summer car season, although it snowed here in Park City just a couple days ago, the summer car season is almost here, which means hypercars and supercars headed your way, as well as the Jeep. I. Uh, I'm excited to start modifying this. I've already learned that it's not a build. I'm just doing simple modifications. So more to come with that, but uh, I think I'm gonna end today's video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.